Welcome back my viewers to another episode of Cosplay Time and today we are doing something different. Today we are actually going to be modifying something really cool. We are going to modify this. The Red Ranger Movie Morph from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers The Movie. Now this was sent to me from a friend of mine who is not a real big fan of the Red Ranger. So since Bendai didn't actually make a, uh, a Yellow Ranger, Black Ranger, Movie Morpher, uh, he only had the uh, White Ranger Movie Morpher, which that was Tommy's in the movie. But my friend is a huge Green Ranger fan. So I mentioned to him that I could modify this to be a Green Ranger Movie Morpher. So that's exactly what I'm going to do today, is that I'm going to take off these plates and replace them with plates that I bought from Starlight Studios. And what do those look like? Let me show you. Here's the box right here. Now we got the gold plates from Starlight Studios. They're really cool looking. And I also got him a new Green Ranger Power Coin, the Dragon Zord Coin. So that looks really cool. And also I bought new decals from BD15 Decals. If you haven't checked those out, check those out on Facebook. He's pretty easy to talk to. And here are the labels. We got the front labels. And we got back labels. These are actually really cool. So that's gonna be a really fun thing to do today. I really can't wait to get this started, so let's get to it. It's cosplay time. All right, and here's something I haven't done in a while, narration. So let's get started. Your first step to this is opening up the morpher, putting it down on its front, and unscrewing the four screws on the back. This is going to release the plates, so that way you're able to replace them with the new ones. Once you removed all screws, just simply slide off the plates. And since this is the new Dragon Zord morpher, Let's remove that Tyrannosaurus coin. Now what you need to know about these plates is that they come with their own screws. So just simply unscrew them and then reuse them. Now it comes to install the new plates. This part is very simple. All you have to do is line up the plates and then screw them back in with the screws they came with. It's that simple. Now comes the tricky part, putting on the decals. Now I'm not sure about you guys, when it comes to stickers, I am not the greatest. So it took me a couple of tries to just get one lightning bolt on this morpher. It took me a while. But after try try again, I finally got it on there. And after 15 minutes, the decals are now attached. Now crazy enough, the back stickers were no problem at all. I mean, look at that. That looks awesome. And now it's time to put the power coin in. And now for the next part, getting the holster ready for paint. So we're gonna hit this with some 400 grit sandpaper, giving it a nice smooth sand. Now once sanding is all done, we are now ready for priming. I'm going to use my favorite Rust-Oleum Flat Gray Primer. And what you want to do here is spray a couple sprays to give you a nice even coat. And don't forget to do this method on both sides. And then you simply wait for it to dry. And once that dries, I'm going to hit it with a one coat lacquer from Tester's Paint. And just make sure you get an even coat on both sides. And then just let it dry. And once it dries, we're going to hit it with some clear coats. And just like painting, we want to make sure everything is evenly coated.
Alright guys, the movie morpher of the Green Ranger, it is done. And this thing looks amazing. Came out better than I expected. Even though the stickers on there, I kind of goofed it a little bit. Because I really suck at putting on stickers, but overall look at that thing. It looks amazing. Stickers did go on there nicely though. So I'm happy about that. I mean... Looks great. I honestly don't want to see this go. I really don't want to send it to my friend and say, here you go, here's your new morpher. I want to keep it for myself and put it in my collection, but ah, you gotta fight that temptation. Anyway, it was very easy to do. All you gotta do, like I said, is buy some gold plates from Starlight Studios. If you're in the need for a new gold power coin of the Dragon Zord, again, Starlight Studios is the way to go. And also the decals from BD15 decals. They look amazing, and even the back, the back of this looks awesome. I love it. It's got that nice reflective uh, silver right there. The belt clip was a different color. Um, I went with a lime green metallic paint. Didn't have a darker green, so this is what I end up going with. It still looks really good. I was, I was surprised on how good this one looks with the Morpher, you know, it, it fits. Um, so yeah, hopefully he likes this one. If he doesn't, then I might have to repaint it for him. But that's that's fine. Anyway, overall, came out amazing. I'm really, really, really happy with this thing. He's gonna love this morpher. So that concludes this video of cosplay time. Remember guys, comment, like, and subscribe. I would love to hear your comments. I would love to see what you think of this morpher. And again, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe now. That way you get notified when I upload a new video. So that concludes this video of Cosplay Time. You guys have a good one. And remember, everybody can cosplay and it's always cosplay time.